Grace, mercy, and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. As always, it's a joy to be able to bring the good news of Jesus to you. The text that we're going to consider on this second Sunday after Christmas comes to us from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verses 3 through 14. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love he predestined us for adoption as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the promise of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the Beloved, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight, making known to us the mystery of his will, according to his purpose, which he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to unite all things in him, things in heaven and things on earth. In him we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, so that we who were the first to hope in Christ might be to the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it to the praise of his glory. This is the word of God. Wow, there's an awful lot to unpack there. But the truth is, I'm not going to try to unpack it all. In fact, I'm going to try to make it as simple as I can what Paul has just told us. There are mysteries that if we tried to unravel them, or tried to get our head around them, our heads might just explode. One such mystery is the mystery of predestination or election. There are passages in the scriptures, like here, that tell us that in Christ Jesus we are predestined. We are his elect. Then there are other passages that tell us that some people are unfortunately, going to eternal damnation. Then there are other passages that tell us that God desires for all people to be saved and to know the truth. Well, if you take those all into our brain, they seem to contradict one another. And we know that God does not contradict himself. He simply has mysteries that we cannot get our head around. And one of them is this idea of predestination. But the way the Bible talks about it is like this. In Christ we are predestined. See, those two phrases go together, predestined and in Christ. In fact, they go together so well that they are virtually synonymous with one another. If you are predestined, then you are in Christ Jesus. And if you are in Christ Jesus, then you are predestined. You are one of his elect. That really is as simple and as complicated as we need it to be. We are in Christ Jesus, and that makes us his elect. If one is not in Christ Jesus, then he is not in the elect. Now, people want to say, well, I have chosen to be in Christ Jesus. They would be wrong. We don't choose God, but he chooses us. But remember the verse that I just talked about. It comes from 1 Timothy, where it says that God desires for all people to be saved and to come to knowledge of the truth. God desires that all people should be in Christ Jesus. So why aren't all people in Christ Jesus? I don't know. I don't know. 
because he brings the message to everyone. And we know that God is capable of reaping where he has not sown. So we need not worry about those who should somehow fall through the cracks. Our job is to reach everybody with the gospel, to reach everybody with the message of Jesus Christ's love and mercy. And that's what Paul tells us about here, that we have all been made holy before God, unblemished through the death and resurrection of Jesus. For God sent Jesus into the world to take on our flesh. That's what Christmas is all about. And then that man Jesus went to the cross to take on all of our sins upon himself so that we may, might be made righteous and holy before God so that we could be his chosen, his elect through him and in him, in Christ Jesus and through his death and resurrection. We are his elect saints, and everyone who believes in him has that solid confirmation, solid assurance that we are elect, that because we are in Christ Jesus, salvation is assured for us. And you know what? God has blessed us not with just every good gift that we need to do his work while we're here, but he's given us his Holy Spirit. And Paul tells us that that is a guarantee of our final inheritance, which of course is the world that is to come, the new creation, the resurrection life. For on the last day, he will return and raise everyone to new life. And for those that are in Christ Jesus, we enter into life eternal with him. That's all promised through our election that we had nothing to do with, but that through his word, he created faith in our hearts so that we might trust in Christ Jesus and in his atoning work for us, so that we would be in him and through him we are made his elect with all of the gifts at his disposal, including the Holy Spirit, which remains our guarantee. Now, perhaps you have the question of whether or not you have the Holy Spirit. If you are in Christ Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is what draws us to him. The Holy Spirit is what convicts us when we sin. The Holy Spirit is what empowers us to hope when there seems to be no hope. To love those who appear unlovable. To forgive when we think we cannot. The Holy Spirit is what compels us to imitate Christ Jesus. And if you are in Christ Jesus, you have the Holy Spirit. If you have the Holy Spirit, then you are in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus and have the Holy Spirit, then you are among his elect. If you are among his elect, you are in Christ Jesus and you have the gift of the Holy Spirit. Merry Christmas, everybody, and a happy and blessed new year. Amen.